Well, it's great to be back home. Um, and it's also great to be here tonight. And uh, thank you, Harriet. Uh, thank you, Janice. Thank you, the NEA Foundation. I um, feel very honored. But I accept this award for all of the uh, folks that work with me. Uh, we have over 100 employees now. We started 18 years ago and moved along a continuum to really show that you can grow food inside cities and close to where people live and uh, create a sustainable food system. But it's not just that. It's about really growing jobs and, and making sure that we get healthy food. And tonight, I'm going to talk a little bit about what we're doing in terms of getting food into uh, schools, into our public schools, because we know that uh, with just a little over $2 a meal, we can't get really good food into our, into our uh, bellies of our kids. But what we've done in Milwaukee, I'll talk a little bit about, we've been able to develop over the years a food system that we're able to uh, work in partnership with Milwaukee Public School System, Cisco, which is a delivery system of foods into the public schools to be able to get our local food um, that we grow within a day, day and a half of production. And that's really important when we think about our food because um, we've sat here tonight and really had a good meal, but we don't really think a lot about our food and where our food comes from. And we know that our food system is, is broken. We know that, that one out of six Americans a day are hungry. They go to bed every night hungry. We know our kids get up in the morning and they go to school, and many of those kids uh, don't even eat the free breakfast that, that they get in school because they come to school late, many of our public school students, but they stop at the candy stores and they get candy, and then they uh, really terrorize the teachers because they're all uh, hyped up on, on sugars. Um, but, but, but what we need to do is get back to the days where we did have a local food system because I listened, I was in the back listening to all the folks from the different states, and in every state, Back in the 30s and 40s, our food came from those states. But today, our food is shipped 1,500 miles away. And by the time it gets into our bellies, especially our kids, it's depleted of about 50% of its nutrient impact. So we need to get back to those days where food was grown closer to where we live. We can't continue to survive on the system we have today. We need to build a system that's local. That's what it's all about. And that system will uh, make sure that our kids have the advantage of being able to learn, get their maximum ability to learn if they, have a, if they go to school with a full belly. Many of our kids can't learn. Research has proven that if kids go to school without eating, they really don't reach their maximum learning ability. So, uh, and we're all responsible for this because this is really about social justice and food justice to make sure that everybody has access to the same food. That's what it's really all about. And it's just not in Wisconsin, it's in every state. I, I visit every state in the nation and we have the same problem in our, in our cities and we have these food deserts where we don't have healthy food and people don't have access and it's really about access. So as we think about educating our kids, we need to think about educating them ab about the food that they eat. It makes, it, it's really important that when we're talking about healthy food in the classroom, that when we march those kids down to the cafeteria, they're getting those things you're talking about. If we're talking about one of the top five foods like kale or, or blueberries and we take them to the cafeteria and we're not feeding them kale or blueberries, we really have a problem. Because kids don't understand that message. And like Alice Waters says, it is possible to have a garden in every school in America because kids really need to learn about food. Because when kids learn about food, they take that message back home and their parents learn from the kids. And all of a sudden, they start eating better because it, it, they have to start at home as well. But we can do something about uh, the food that we have in, in schools. We have to change the policy. We have this great opportunity uh, with the Farm Bill uh, coming up, the 2012 Farm Bill, and we can speak, speak out about uh, getting healthier food into our schools. 
So what we're doing in Milwaukee this past year, we've been able to get 100,000 pounds of carrots into our public school systems. Uh, over the last two years, we've been able to get sprouts and salad greens into our school system. So it's possible that we can do it, and we can do it on a local level. But it's all of our responsibility to make sure that happens, because everybody wants to live in these sustainable communities. As I go around the country, almost every city says they have this 2020 plan to become green and sustainable. But if we don't have a sustainable food system by 2020, you won't have that reach that goal. So we really need to think about our food. It's the most important thing in our lives, our food. It, it's the one thing that connects everybody in this, uh, in this room, regardless of where you come from or who you are, is that we all have to eat food to survive. So why aren't we eating the best possible food, and why aren't we getting the same food to all people? We've been able to do that in Milwaukee in a number of different ways. I only have, they only gave me five minutes tonight, so I can't uh, show you my thousand uh, image PowerPoint to show you how we do it. But, but we've been able to do it. Uh, we've been able to get that food uh, via many uh, uh, different delivery systems to everybody in our community. So it's possible. So uh, I hope you keep this on your mind when you leave here tonight to go back to your communities and really think about the food, especially the teachers uh, that are here, to make sure those kids are getting a good meal and we fight for getting better food in our schools. Thank you very much, and uh, this has been a great honor. And